Welcome to Bill's Ranch. First we'll head towards Larry to finish that last quest from Village Greens. The first quest is to survive the fluff rush. Air fluffs will appear and attack you. Kill them using the gun's ring and kneel when nothing is attacking you to regain stamina. After this we can go over to the Null Crystal. On the way we meet Bill. He tells us to help Purvis and Rubella. Purvis asks us to milk the cows. To do this just click the cows, but remember that each cow can only be milked once. Some will fall over, so just keep going until you milk 10. Then we can go over to Rubella. She asks us to bring her 10 chickens. To pick up a chicken just click it. Then bring it over to Rubella and click on her to pass the chicken. Then we can go over to Bill. After this, Purvis has another quest for us. He wants us to help him confess his love to Rubella. So we go over to her. Chat for a bit and get back to him. Then we go talk to Bill. Bill tells us to collect some garlic sprouts and plant them. The garlic up north is stronger, so if you are low level it's a good idea to get the ones in the middle. Once we collect 15 garlic sprouts we can plant them on Bill's ranch. The exact location is marked on the map. After that go back to Bill to pick up the next quest. Now he wants us to bring back his cow from the dead mana pass. But we're not high enough level for that area. So let's go talk to Klaus instead. Klaus wants to get his clock back from the alarm skeeters. It's right over here. Then we need to take his clock near the null crystal. Now we can give him back the clock. 
Klaus also gives a repeatable quest for killing alarm skeeters. I'm still not high enough level, so I'm going over to the Barton sewers to level up. It's a great place for newbies to level up. Before you enter you need to lower your level down to 2.0. There is a quest for killing 15 P lungers and 15 grandsters. The main quest is based on opening the valves, those are marked on the map. To open a valve, click on it. After you get all four, you can leave the area and go back in again to repeat this quest. Now that I have enough orbs to level up my rings I can go back to Null. Before we enter the Dead Man's Pass we go and talk to Albert. He gives us a bunch of quests to do once we get inside. First we go to defeat the Laceyback Galoshes. This animated is in the top right corner of the map. On our way we see the graveyard with a minigame. Then we go and take down the purse which is up the steps. The last monster that we need to defeat is by the gate at the top of the mountain. On the way there we can kill the OMFG. To trigger the attack go near the gate. Kill the monsters that spawn. But make sure your stamina is high enough to defeat the boss. After that we can get the cow. She's at the end of the path that leads west. Now we can talk to Albert to get our rewards and then we go over to Bill. I quickly go over to Null to upgrade my rings and then back to Bill. Bill asks us to fix his machines. To do that we need to follow the red flags on the map and walk next to the machines to fix them. After this we go to Purvis to get the garlic slaying quest. Now we need to kill 15 garlics. Then go back to Purvis. It's a repeatable quest, so I do it again to get more orbs. Now we can go to Rubella for the final quest. She wants us to go to Katsumi in Zen Gardens. But that's for the next episode.